gonna start this week out by talking about some of the crazy and WTF moments from the sports weekend. First, let's talk about the Cowboys. This whole time I have been bamboozled thinking that Ezekiel Elliott is the fire to that offense. I mean, the dude got feed me tattooed on his stomach and he's stayed damn near starving the entire season. Put some respect on Dak's name and hopefully he gets better soon. The Atlanta Falcons accidentally scoring. That puts a bow on the season that they've already had. And obviously this boded well for Lions betters. We literally had one of the best to ever do it. Retire this weekend in Khabib. This was his first fight since losing his father. His father was his coach, his best friend. There was no way that Khabib was losing this fight and he nearly looked possessed in the ring. I was sitting on my couch bawling during college football Saturday. I love Khabib, love what he has done for the sport. He is the GOAT as far as I'm concerned. An early line that I liked right off the bat was Tennessee minus four and a half. They're coming off of a loss. They're going to play the Bengals. And the Bengals team, while they haven't looked awful, how much work can Joe Burrow do every single week? I don't think they're gonna be able to keep up with that Tennessee offense, which is rather explosive with Henry and Tannehill. Next look ahead, I'm looking to tease the Raiders and the Dolphins. The Raiders are coming off of an absolute thrashing from Tampa Bay. Now they're headed to the Browns and the Browns kind of struggled against the Bengals and they just lost OBJ. So not really sure what they're gonna do to get that fire started, but I think eight and a half points is a lot for the Raiders. So I like that six point tease there. Second leg of this teaser is going to be the Dolphins plus 10 and a half. That is a ton of points to lay in Miami. I think we all know how weird the games can be down there. Plus we have a new quarterback in Tua and I believe personally that the fire is lit under this kid and that he is determined to bring this team to victory. So I like the 10 and a half here. Talking about Tua and the Dolphins will roll us over to my prop of the week. So my prop of the week this week is going to be Tua over 11 and a half touchdowns. I know that might seem a little high, but if you go back and look, Fitzpatrick, who can be boom or bust, playing six game has thrown 10 touchdowns. Unless Tua gets hurt or unless he just absolutely plays like trash, I think this 11 and a half is completely doable considering that there's 10 games left in the season. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week and let's make some money.